as wild swings pervade the global stock markets. Economists and analysts are having a really tough time trying to make the next call. Some say the increasing prevalence of passive investing and algorithmic trading has exaggerated the volatility that we're seeing in financial markets. Well, for more on this, we're speaking live to Darren Chu. He's founder of Tradable Patterns. Good evening, Darren. How popular is algorithmic trading in the Asia-Pacific, and, and what exactly does it involve? Algorithmic trading has actually been increasing popularity throughout the last, uh, let's, let's say, at least a decade. So from probably 20 years ago, actually Wall Street and actually much of the U.S. equity market was moving in that direction, pioneering a lot of the changes that we've seen uh, come to Asia in this past 10 to 15 years. Uh, obviously, every year it accounts for more of the trading volumes. So um, in terms of how you actually facilitate it, it really comes down to what kind of algos we're referring to. So um, just be clear, there are order execution algorithms that um, buy sites ordinarily will implement just to um, slice and dice up orders just so that they don't leave big footprints when they're trying to uh, acquire stock, for instance. And those algorithms, they're provided typically by their sales side providers. But when it comes to arbitraging algorithms, algorithms that HFTs implement into their core strategies, those algorithms obviously uh, require a whole lot more in terms of infrastructure. So typically those algorithms are very time sensitive because when it comes to algorithms, rhythms that take advantage of arbitraging opportunities, you're looking at a few uh, microseconds to milliseconds, uh, more microseconds these days of difference uh, between being profitable and not. So uh, when you're dealing with such a, uh, such a tight time constraint to take advantage of that mispricing, you basically have to optimize everything in your chain of hardware, software, and telecommunications infrastructure, um, all the way from where your firm's server resides to where the exchange or wh wh whichever centralized market uh, you happen to be trading. All right, so saying that, Darren. You know, obviously with, um, so, but you know. saying that, what are some of the pitfalls of using algorithms to trade then? Well, so a lot of algorithms that are overly mechanical, that are based on overly few rules, they're not adaptable in real time. Some of them are, but I mean, it really comes down to how they're designed and on whether or not it's a smart algo or, you know, one, one that perhaps relies on neural networks or AI machine learning or one which is a little more just um, hard-coded, um, which does not have a, an ability to re react when you have a black swan type event. All right, thanks uh, for that. Uh, Darren Chu, been speaking to Darren Chu, founder of Tradable Patterns, and we do apologize for the rather um, intermittent connection there.